Welcome back to Chemistry, It Is All That Matters, and today we're going to look at covalent polyatomic ions as we continue to look at Lewis dot structures and how to draw them, but in this case we're going to look at the polyatomic ions and their covalent structure. So let's take the idea of hydroxide uh, being a polyatomic ion containing both oxygen and hydrogen, and we know that the hydroxide polyatomic ion has a charge of negative one. So when we look at the oxygen, the oxygen has six valence electrons and hydrogen has one valence electron. And when we build this molecule, the hydrogen will take up one of the bonding sites on oxygen, but there is still an empty space in oxygen. So what, what will happen is an atmospheric electron will fill that space, similar to when we created ions, um, making anions in ionic bonds. And when we do this, we actually get a charge greater in the negative value. So now this has a negative one charge. And the way we symbolize a polyatomic ion as a covalent Lewis structure is we draw that ion in brackets and put the charge on the outside and we also identify the additional ion uh, electron in a different manner. So here I am putting the additional electron as a circle with an X in it. You can make it a solid circle, but somehow you have to signify how that extra electron is placed in the molecule. So let's look at a positive polyatomic ion and we'll look at ammonium. Ammonium is NH4 and when we look at nitrogen having five electrons and each hydrogen has one electron now we know that three hydrogens will fill the necessity for that nitrogen atom and this is how ammonia is formed but here we have that additional hydrogen that's going to be added. Now what will happen is this hydrogen will actually give its electron away and then the hydrogen will fill in. Well in doing this we now have one less electron than we should and this makes it a positive charge. So now when we draw the ion as a Lewis structure we place it in brackets we show all the bonds and we put the positive charge on the outside explaining that one electron was lost in this creation of the polyatomic molecule. So let's go to one other example and that would be the sulfate molecule. Sulfate is SO3 negative 2 and when we look at sulfate we have uh, one sulfur with six electrons, three oxygen with six electrons each. Now we can put one oxygen on the free pair of the left side of the sulfur. We put another oxygen on the bottom empty uh, space on the sulfur. And we add, add the other oxygen on the other empty space on the sulfur. But what we see here is that the oxygens are not filled. So again, an atmospheric electron can fill those empty spaces and once again we are going to signify those electrons as being from the atmosphere and in this case I've put the X in the circle like I said you can make them solid and then when we actually draw the molecule the molecule is going to be in brackets and in putting it in brackets we're going to show the bonds and then we have to show the atmospheric electrons and once again we show that they are different and because we added two electrons to complete this covalent structure, this is a negative two charge on the outside. So once again, polyatomic ions as a covalent molecule, um, because sulfur and oxygen are both non-metals, they're going to share their electrons to complete their outer shells. But in sharing those electrons, they do not get, have enough electrons to satisfy all the atoms in the molecule so we bring in those atmospheric electrons to fill in the extra spaces because we add extra electrons it becomes an anion negatively charged and we show that with the negative charge now your assignment for this is to do a video of a polyatomic ion and then a normal 
covalent molecule and turn those into YouTube. So after watching this video, uh, take this information with the information you had from the in-class work and now you should be able to um, demonstrate the two molecules that you have to for your YouTube video. So good luck on that uh, project and keep working on your chemistry.